for the last several years and doing it quite well and now is is going to bleed orange uh made his declaration on sunday that uh, and he's good enough to be a scholarship football player in college uh but is choosing to uh follow his family follow his dad who is the cowboy backs coach at oklahoma state and uh, and go to the cowboys program and play there and it's luke mcindu in fact there have been a lot of times over going back to his junior year where I would be talking to college coaches that were there watching the Pioneers play, and I'd say, what do you think? Who, you know, who's the best player on the field? And several times I had coaches say, the best player on the field is 47. That, dude, that dude's a rock out there. He's making plays left and right, and that was Luke McIndoo. And Luke joins us now. Luke, congratulations. I know this was kind of the plan all along for you. Yes, sir, it was. It's been, uh, it's been pretty cool. Um, there was some couple other, I had some other interests, but kind of the whole time, you know, I, I definitely wanted to come play for my dad. You did do the recruiting thing. You went to, you know, you went to some other games, uh, yep. the, you know, last year when you could do that, couldn't do it this year because of COVID, yep. but you went to some other campuses, you'd been to some camps and I know when your dad moved here, you know, you guys were up there in the Northwest and. A lot of connections there where your dad played played up there in college and coached up there with, you know, in, in Montana. And uh, I know you had a Montana State offer and you had interest from other schools. How tough, how tough was it to say, because, you know, some people don't want to say they're a walk-on. But in, in, in all reality, you're, you're kind of a walk-on with a, a star next to it. I mean, uh, you could have gone somewhere else. How close were you to maybe doing that? Um, it was kind of tough. Um, so obviously I had a Montana State offer. Um, I talked to talked to K State a little bit as well. Um, talked to North Dakota State quite a bit as well. But um, just being able to play a Division One program uh, and play for your dad is uh, is something, and play the position that your dad coaches is something that uh, that kids and or anyone really doesn't really get the chance to do that often. And so it was uh, it, I mean, I kind of thought about other going else going elsewhere, but then um. When my dad kind of told me, "Hey, I want you to play for me here," you know, that was a that was a pretty cool moment. And so, uh, just I, it was really really tough to even think about me leaving when my dad wants me to stay here and play for him. So that was just kind of my decision on it. Obviously, you've been close to it with your dad being a coach. You've seen it at at not only Oklahoma State but at at another school as well. And you know, and you know his players. I mean, you know, and and. I think what's kind of cool for you is you're you're not the same as Jelani Woods. You're not the same as as Logan Carter. You're not the same as as Dayton Metcalf. You come in as what I would say, and I, I even wrote this on your uh, you know on Twitter with with your announcement, a natural fullback. And Oklahoma State really hasn't had what I consider a natural fullback for several years. I had Teddy Johnson and, and uh, I'm trying to think of the, the, again, the young man from Stillwater that was a uh, guy was a stud. Um, when I, I played you. some in the NFL, but uh, when you're, when you're looking at that, is, is that part of, is that part of the attraction here? Is that you think you can come in there and, and offer something at least in, in your dimensions you offer something a little bit different? Yes, sir, for sure. Um, being able to, you know, just be more of like a fullback type. Obviously, I'm, I could line up a bit at tight end, but if Dad's got Logan and, and Jelani and Dayton still here, you know, I think there's not really any need for me to play any tight end. Um, but being able just to be kind of just a, a really good blocking fullback and would be really, I think it was really cool to, to see and how they, they play so many positions was a really cool to see, and so I wanted to do that. And so uh, I think being able to come in, maybe be a little bit undersized, still be a good blocker will be really helpful for, for what my dad's guys do. Yeah, here's the other thing. I, I, I always loved watching you play defense. And yeah. and I know you would be you would be a little undersized at, at defense, but we've seen some guys at Oklahoma State play on the on the edge uh at you know uh, a little smaller and and have success are you okay with giving up the defensive part of it because i know that's been a big part of your 
your high school football identity for for you as a player? Well, I kind of have to be okay with it, <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's uh, it was uh, I love playing defense. It's always been really fun, but um, I think obviously you get to get to college, you kind of have to pick, right? And so uh, I think definitely I'm gonna come play for my dad and and, and just kind of stick to the offensive side of it. You know, obviously I would love to play defense again, but just kind of a little bit undersized. So I think maybe more of a fullback role definitely fits my body type and, and speed a little bit better. Yeah, it, it does. And and here's the other thing I see. Uh, I can see you being one of those guys that's the first one to, to, to jump in line and say, hey, special teams, run down field, knock the heck out of somebody. I'm, I, I, I'm all for that. Let's, yes, sir. Let's roll. Yes. Let's roll. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's a, that, my dad always tells me he's like, uh, you know, look, the, the fastest way to get on the field is, is special teams. You know, you get a bunch of these, you know, I just like to say I've had a whole bunch of four and five star guys, but you know, like uh, you can get more some of the more highly recruited get hot scholarship guys, and you get them in, and and unless they're an absolute stud, you know, like like Pre- uh, Brandon Presley or some other dudes, they're just absolute studs. They're going to play their true freshman year. Um, so you get you the fastest way to get on the field is, is to play special teams, and so um, I think I'm definitely okay with that. I played a whole bunch of special teams in my high school career, so uh, definitely definitely something that I'm I'm looking forward to being able to contribute on for sure for sure in my first couple of years. All right. I think it was pointed out in the newspaper today. I saw uh, Scott, I think, or somebody did a story on, on, uh, in the Oklahoma and, yeah, and uh, yeah, and you will be, uh, you will be sticking around and you'll come in in the summer. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. There's a couple Playing of, back. sorry, yes, sir. I was just going to say, playing playing basketball, and you've got some agriculture. You going to major in in something in ag agriculture? I think I think something uh, something agribusiness related. Not okay. uh not totally one hundred percent sure yet, but uh, I think that's the kind of the road I'm, I'm going down right now. No, that's that's a big part of what your family's about. You guys are 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 really you know you've been really into that and successful with it, and I think that's cool. Uh, but yes. the the story pointed out that your quarterback for. All, all but this year at, at Stillwater High, Gunnar Gundy, is also taking the same route. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it, it's tough. People on the outside can be really tough on, on uh, you know, coaches' kids who decide to go play at, at their dad's school. Your dad's probably not – certainly in, in the spotlight of the, the head coach with where Gunnar is going to play for, for his dad. But um, – you know, I, I know what kind of football player you are, and Oklahoma yep. State's going to be fortunate to have you on the on the team. Um, with Gunner, you know you know what he's been like. You've played with him. Yep. Uh, y- your thoughts on having Gunner as a teammate again? Uh, extremely, extremely exciting. Uh, kind of something we've talked about for a while. Um, and so he having him be be on the team as well. We'll probably end up rooming together too, and uh, at some point or one another. And so I think it, it'll be really cool to have him have him back, or have him, not have him back, I guess, but uh, have him hit, I guess, to technically join my class, right? And so um, he, I'm really excited to have him back. He's probably one of my best friends, you know. And so I think being able to be on the team and be able to still catch passes from him, you know, during practice, and then hopefully later on in our careers, you know, on the actual, in actual boom pickings. But um, I think it, I think it's definitely really a really cool experience and really. Really cool opportunity for both of us to be able to come play after playing all those years at Stillwater. Last thing, um, yeah, I, I know how close you are. I know your mom and dad, your 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 sisters, and and uh, you know it's a it's a tight tight knit family. The McIndoo's, uh, they'll be, but you know you know this. I'm sure your dad's had this conversation with you. You know, uh, uh, once you step on that field, you're you're one of the players. It's it's not, you know. Of course, sometimes I think. Being a coach's kid can be extra hard because the tendency, even when you're in high school and he's not your coach, the tendency of a coach is to coach. Yes, so sir. you probably you probably feel like you've had him as a position coach for a long time anyway. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, and so like like you just said, like I I'll come home on uh, after Fridays and he'll tell me you know what I did what I did good what I did bad mostly what I did good but sometimes like uh 
there's a couple times where I've argued with coaches or something crazy, and he's like, yeah, you're kind of out of line there. Or other times, uh, and then we'll we'll watch uh, on Sundays after uh, after he grades his film after his Saturday games. We'll watch my my film before uh, before church on Sundays, and so uh, definitely, like you said, kind of have already had a position coach for uh, for uh, you know for the last four years for sure. Well, it uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, number one, uh, folks, this is a is a great great kid. I mean, he'll he'll add to the he'll add to the team with his with his character, but uh, also a very very good football player. So I wish you the best, and I was glad to see you make that announcement officially, and uh, uh, look forward to seeing you changing those colors from blue and gold to orange and black. Yes, sir. Hey, Luke, I appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Allen. All right. Uh, Luke McIndoe uh, at uh, Stillwater. I mean, just 